Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Nick. Uh, we'll get started here, like in about two or three minutes, probably. So, um, yeah, if you want, just uh, drop a drop a note in the chat. Let us know where you're uh, where you're calling in from. And like I said, we'll get started here in about two or three minutes. And uh, yeah, this should be awesome training. It should only last around thirty minutes or so. So I'll be back here in just a couple minutes. Thanks. All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Nick Carpenter. I uh, I did mute you guys out, so but if there's any point where you want to, you know, say something or whatever, feel free to unmute yourself and uh, chime on in. But I went ahead and did that just in case there's any crazy background noises or anything like that. So, hey, so glad that you guys are here. I want to go ahead and reward the people that are here and uh, get started early, or not early, I guess, but uh, you know, somewhat on time, like not not delay you. I just want to respect your time and keep to the 30 minutes I said I was going to take. So today, I actually did this training yesterday for some insurance agents. I thought it was really applicable for loan officers also. And since I made this fancy presentation, I figured I would go ahead and use it and uh, share this information with you guys. So again, at any point, if you have uh, questions or comments, you can unmute yourself and um, talk. Uh, so feel free to do that, okay? And we're just going to kind of uh, roll through this um, information. And I'll share this uh, slideshow with you guys. Um, I'll send it out uh, as an email. So real quick, you know, kind of like, let me, uh, I got to move this video thing real fast though. All right. So why should you even care at all what I'm saying? Um, just kind of give you a quick background on who I am. I came up in the Navy. My dad was in the Navy and, uh, grew up in the Boy Scouts my whole life. Basically I came up, you know, I'm an Eagle Scout. We moved around every two or three years. And so coming up in the Boy Scouts was just one of the things that kept me grounded and kept it feeling like it was home. Cause we could just get right back into it some kind of level of normalcy every time we move to a new base. Um, after I got out of the air, uh, out of high school, I went into the air force. All right. And, uh, you can see my gangster pose here from Saudi Arabia. And so, yeah, it was awesome. Really enjoyed the air force. I went to Saudi Arabia and Iraq was in there for six years. Um, while I was in the air force, I actually made my first website. So I, uh, this was like in the late nineties, early two thousands. And there was these shoes that was really popular called like air force ones that had, of Gucci print and stuff like that on them. And I wanted to get some of those too. And I found out they were really expensive. Like on eBay, they were a hundred bucks. Well, I found this Chinese supplier that would just ship them to people for 40 bucks. So I made a website, started selling the shoes for a hundred, you know, and then get that guy to send them for 40 bucks. Uh, but eventually I did get a cease and desist letter from Nike. So I had to stop uh, selling those things. 
So that was my first soiree into online marketing. I got my real estate license in 2005 and uh, became a licensed realtor in Dallas, Fort Worth. And that's really where I fell in love with marketing. I mean, at the time we were getting like 400 leads a month. And so I stopped being an active realtor and I started only doing marketing and sending out my leads for referrals and stuff like that. Um, I got hired by Benchmark Mortgage in 2011 to take over their marketing department at their corporate office. It was like a $2 billion mortgage company and uh, really enjoyed my time there. And I left in 2014 to open my agency. Uh, so today I still run done for you services uh, for loan officers and realtors um, for lead generation. And then we also have a mastermind program called the Legion of loan officers. That's my primary focus today. So how are you approaching realtors who you want to work with right now? I mean, what are you doing to, uh, to get in front of them? Drop me, um, drop me something in the chat box and let me know. I'm going to try to see how I can get, so I can find this chat. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. And uh, a copy of the recording. Yes, I will have a copy of the recording out. So drop me a chat right now. What's the number one thing you do to approach new realtors that you want to work with? What's the number one thing that you guys are doing to, to get new realtor relationships? Okay. I'll come back and see what anybody leaves there in a minute, but Here's the, some of the stuff that people tell me that they're doing. Okay. They're going to coffee meeting. Now they don't call them awkward. I'm calling it awkward coffee meeting because at the end of the day, I think that's what it is, right? It's weird. It's hard to establish value inside of a coffee meeting. And so you should just establish value before you ever go to a coffee meeting. Maybe you're going to a, bl a blind lunch date. I think it's even worse because it costs you more money, right? It's longer, more awkwarder, and it costs you more money. Maybe you go out in the evenings and you've been uh, going to these happy hours with the divorcees, right? Because usually people that have a family or doing business, they're not usually hanging out of those happy hours all that much. Or maybe you bring by stuff to the office, right? Some pop buys for the slow agents that are hanging out in the office. Or you sponsor realtor events, right? It's another popular thing. Or maybe you sponsor their Zillow listing or whatever, right? Where somehow you get suckered into spending your money to help them generate their leads. There has to be a better way, right? Let's see what some people said uh, they're doing right now. Okay, phone call to meet them and keep following up. Yes, okay, that's, some people do that. Usually go after listing agents after they see how you work on the current loan for their listing. Not a bad idea, all right? But I think there are some better ways and some different things that you guys can do in order to attract realtors, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about right now, okay? So the number one thing that you can do is have home buyer or seller leads to pass out, okay? So I know you're probably thinking like, where are these home buyer and seller leads supposed to actually come from? Okay, so I'm gonna give you three places right now where you can get home buyer and seller leads, okay? The first place is your database, right? Now I call a database a KLT goldmine because these are already people who know I can trust you on some level. Maybe they've worked with you, maybe they've referred you business, Maybe they're your friends or your family, your neighbors, right? This kind of thing. But it's usually people that already, you know, you have some likability, some trust factor. They're already built in uh, to the database. So it's always going to be your number one source of business, right? I recommend sending out an email every single week to your database on Thursday afternoon, right? And then anybody that replies and is a serious buyer, you could get them pre-qualified on Friday and they could be out looking for houses over the weekend if that's how the schedule should go, right? So you have to figure out some kind of way to stay in front of your database and send them what I recommend is at least a weekly email so that you're in, in their inbox. Now, a little tip is you can take your database wherever you have that, right? There's probably a way for you to export that database into a CSV list or a TXT file or one of these kind of Excel things. And you can then take your database, you can actually put that into Facebook and you could run Facebook ads that have the same exact message as your weekly email, right? So whatever you send on email, you could shoot a quick video, say the same thing, upload that and run that as a video ad only to your database. So you could be staying in front of them both in email and on Facebook, and you could spend as little as $1 a day on that video ad. All right, the second place where you can generate home buyer and home seller leads is with Facebook ads, right? Now I know a ton of people are talking about Facebook ads, using Facebook ads, and that's because they work really well, right? Now I've been running Facebook ads since 2012, and at this point spent well over $150,000 
in ad spend between my own business and uh, my clients' businesses that hire us on a retainer. And we really have figured out what works. And that's why we have seven different Facebook ads that we run at this point to generate home buyer and seller leads. Like I'm gonna show you two different options that you could do um, as well, right? So the first one is uh, on the left-hand side, you see an ad that we ran from the Collin County Real Estate Report page. And this was going to people that worked at the General Motors plant in Arlington, Texas, okay? So we created this program and uh, you know they can go over to the link and uh, apply for that program, right? Now, the great thing is, look at the amount of reactions and, and interactions that this particular ad got, right? It got 105 reactions, 14 comments, and 42 shares. It was ridiculous. This ad got leads for about $1.50 a piece on the left-hand side. The ad that's on the right-hand side, Kansas City Real Estate Report, you can see this one was an ad that we ran, and it went to a single, uh, single property site. So when somebody clicked the Learn More button, it popped up a Facebook ad form. Okay, this was a Facebook ad form lead uh, or form ad, Facebook ad form ad, I guess, and a Facebook form ad, whatever you want to call it, right? It didn't go to a landing page. It keeps the people inside of Facebook. So when they click the learn more button, it brings up a pop-up form. And once that form pops up, it's automatically filled in with their name, email, and phone number that they use on Facebook. So it's like one click to learn more, and then one click to submit their, their form and then go over to the single property site. This ad is on the right hand side. It got us leads for $1 and four cents. Okay. So really simple. Both of these ads are getting leads for less than $1.50 and uh, you could easily implement either one of these ads today, right? You could go on Facebook and ask who has a listing that I can promote using, you know, Facebook ads, or you could decide to go out and target, you know, a company or an industry or somebody like that in your marketplace, the way that we've done on the left-hand side. So Facebook ads is an awesome way that you can generate buyers uh, because again, you can just, you know, get like buyers for anywhere from a dollar to $3 usually um, with these type of ads here. The third place that you can get home buyer and seller leads to pass out to realtors is from your other marketing, right? Maybe you're doing other things like um, posting, strategically on your personal Facebook profile, or maybe you're shooting YouTube videos, or you have an active Instagram account or Snapchat profile, or you're doing blogging and so you're getting organic traffic to your website through your blogging efforts, right? You just figure out what you enjoy doing and go all in on that thing, right? If you enjoy video the most, then go all in on videos, right? If you enjoy blogging and writing, then go all in on blogging. But there's a lot of different ways that you could generate additional leads so you just have to figure out, you know, what are one or two avenues that you want to focus on and then go for that. All right. Number two is you can host cool events for realtors. Okay. So let me ask you this. What could you teach realtors that would be easy for them to implement and actually get results from it? Okay. That's the kind of class that you want to host, right? When you're hosting an event for realtors, this isn't, this should not be anything about mortgage programs, loan updates, uh, down payment assistance updates, right? It shouldn't be anything about that. These should be marketing classes that are valuable, right? That where somebody can come to the class, learn something and go implement it. It's the same way that I want you to feel when you leave this class here or this training, because I want you to feel like, hey, you, you got two Facebook ads that you could literally go copy exactly and implement in your marketplace today, right? And you want to leave realtors with the same feeling like that they could easily implement whatever you're doing. Or if you're even better, you should teach for only 30 minutes and then implement for 30 minutes. So that way you actually force implementation right there in the classroom and you can make sure that the realtors actually do uh, what you invited them to do. So I had this idea called learn, do, teach, okay? And with Learn, Do, Teach, it's the best way I know to grow your business and demonstrate value, right? So what you want to do is you want to learn something about marketing or some kind of way that you can generate leads or improve your business, right? You want to figure out some kind of new strategy. So say, for example, if it's the single property Facebook ad that I just showed you, right? You could learn how to do that. Like I just showed you that. 
So the next thing is you could implement that into your business, right? And get some results from it. So you could today go and launch a single property ad, get 10 or 20 leads over the weekends. And then you could come back next week and you could talk about that and you could teach a class and you could teach realtors or in this case, I have loan officers on here because I forgot I was teaching insurance agents with it yesterday. But in your case, right? Insurance agents, attorneys, financial planners, CPAs, business um, agents, right? There's a lot of uh, people that you can teach these tricks to, but I primarily would focus on realtors, okay? And then you can host a class and host an event and just show them what you did, right? For example, with that Facebook idea, if you implement a Facebook ad and you get leads from that and then you teach that live, like it's a really powerful process and a way to demonstrate that you know you know what you're doing right there's no questions when you can just open your facebook ads manager show them an ad that you obviously know what you're doing right and so it's a way that you can go in and be able to create value when you're hosting these events that other loan officers in your marketplace they're too scared to do that right now what are some of the things that you can actually teach in a class okay now here's some of the stuff that i recommend again because we want it all to be around marketing right so you should teach something like how to run a Facebook ad for home buyers, or how to run a Facebook ad for home sellers, or you know how to get their videos to rank higher on YouTube by using the titles, tags, and description and actually get their videos to rank, right? Or how they can find their database on Facebook, right? How they can take their database, upload that as a, as a custom audience inside of Facebook, and show them how they can stay in front of their database every single day with video on Facebook, right? Or maybe how to promote a listing or use, you know, everybody loves new stuff, right? So talk about Instagram or Snapchat or getting more online reviews, right? There's, there's so many options of things that you can teach realtors, but the best way to do it is to go out and do it yourself and then just show them what you did, right? And through demonstration, it's the most powerful way to actually teach a class. If for some reason you still don't feel confident enough to teach a class, then bring in a local expert, right? There's gonna be somebody that you're connected with on Facebook or in your social circle in real life or you know, in your, in your local marketplace that you can find that is the expert on whatever topic you wanna to talk about. So if that's Facebook ads, YouTube marketing, taking better listing photos, making listing videos, right? You can find any kind of topic. Maybe even ask the realtors in your marketplace Hey, I'm going to start hosting monthly training classes. What do you want to learn about? Right. And then either you figure out that for yourself or go find an expert and bring them in and have them teach the class. The great thing is you don't have to be a level 10 expert in order to host a class. Okay. So let's say for example, that you've run some Facebook ads, you've had some success with Facebook ads, but you still only feel like you're at a level four or five on doing those, okay? The cool thing is there's a ton of realtors and referral partners in your marketplace that are less than that, right? They're sitting at a level zero or one or two or three. And those people that are at those levels, you can help bring them up to a four or five. You don't have to be a level 10 expert before you host a class. Because even if you're only at the middle level, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people below that and you can help bring them up to what you've done. So that's why it's really cool just doing something, you know, getting the result from that and then demonstrating that you've done that in a class because then you don't have to worry about having some other skill set, right? You can just show them like, hey, I'm not an expert, but let me just show you what I did. And if you want help with that, like I can help you, okay? Does anybody have any questions about, uh, about that, about doing those live events? Okay, what type of ad copy would you use when an agent uploads their database? Okay, I would be running um, I would be running ads that are video ads to the database that are, for example, you could run a weekly or monthly real estate uh, report. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick here with XYZ Realty. Just wanted to give you a quick update and uh, let you know what's going on in the Arlington, Texas real estate market. I might have um, two or three different... Um, Give two or three different um, types of, oops, sorry. Give two or three different types of, uh, oh man, I was trying to, yeah. So um, 
you know, bringing an outside expert, that's funny, man. I, I got so sidetracked by looking at that. Okay, the ad copy for the database ads, that's what we were just looking at. So I would do a video ad. That's my primary goal with a, with a database ad because it's, it's all about just branding and just staying top of mind. And a video is gonna do that better than anything else, right? And if you know you're only running the ad to a database, you can be so personal. So you can just be like, hey, what's going on? It's Nick, hope you're doing awesome. Just wanted to let you know what's going on here in the Arlington real estate market. Hey, homes are selling right now an average of 17 days on the market. The average sales price is, you know, 99% of the list price or it's, you know, hundred dollars a square foot or whatever. Right. And maybe one other fact, the hottest selling zip code is seven, six, zero, one, five. If you're thinking about making a move or, you know, somebody that's thinking about buying or selling a house or going through a significant life change. And you think that I would benefit from talking with them or they would benefit from talking with me, then feel free to shoot me a message, leave a comment below or reach out. Here's my cell phone, right? That kind of thing. Just a really personal 60 second video and just shoot that and upload that to the database. That's how I would, that's how I would stay in front of the database every single week. Okay, the third idea of how you can get more realtor one-on-one -on -one appointments is be your own private paparazzi, right? Now, why do celebrities have this love and hate relationship with the paparazzi, right? Because they kind of do, you know? Sometimes they love the paparazzi cameras. Sometimes they hate the paparazzi cameras. Well, I think the times they hate them is like this, right? When you get these ugly ass photos of people, you know, like Steven Tyler doesn't probably want his moves, you know, like in the national magazines, you know what I mean? This lady probably didn't want that makeup in the magazines, but they didn't have a choice because it was paparazzi photos and paparazzi taking pictures of them that they didn't have any say so in. So like, this is one of the times where they don't like the paparazzi, but they do like the paparazzi because it keeps them relevant. Right. And as a celebrity, they have to stay relevant. So if you look at these pictures here, probably this one right here of uh, Jennifer Aniston, George Clooney, uh, I don't even know, like look, Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. OK, like all those pictures are all uh, those are all paparazzi pictures. Right. So the same paparazzi cameras that they hate sometimes and they want to escape and get away from. They also love because it keeps them relevant. It keeps them in the media it keeps them in top of mind right and the thing is we don't have cameras following us around or at least i don't i don't know maybe like one of you guys have cameras following you around but i don't personally have camera people following us around so sometimes you have to be willing to brag on yourself okay and this kind of post i call the humble brag right and it's basically designed to you know kind of talk about some results that you've gotten in a way that's gonna elicit people to reach out to you if they're interested in that thing, okay? So you can see in this case, you know, we ran this experiment. I, I just showed you the ad that we ran, right? Uh, it was the one that goes to the Facebook form for this exact house. And so we ended up with 17 leads for a dollar four per lead, and I wanted to let people know about that, right? So, hey, we just did this experiment, right? Not too shabby. And it was cool because Ben, who we did the lead campaign for, he even came in and was like, you know, Hey, I, by the way, I've even called the names and everything is good, you know, which obviously a lot of times doesn't happen with online leads, right? Sometimes you get bad information, but typically we get good information um, from the leads that we're generating. And like, we're even getting 40% of the people to pre-schedule appointments with us. So it's been pretty awesome. So you have to brag on yourself, right? Here's another example. I've got this guy over in England and I'm helping him generate home buyer leads in Liverpool, England. And I'm just really excited because, you know, I actually cracked by getting home buyer and, and leads, you know, in another country, right? Everything that I've done up to this point has always been in America. And so to be able to go in another country, write Facebook ads and create Facebook funnels that generate high quality home buyer leads in another country was awesome, you know? So like in this case, I just wanted to kind of brag on that, you know? And I use the word mate just because I know they like that, use their flag and stuff. And again, right, it got a lot of good interaction, but you have to be willing to brag on yourself because unlike the celebrities where they have paparazzi that can kind of do that stuff for them and let the world know what's going on with these celebrities, you have to let people know what's going on with you, like yourself, right? Nobody's gonna brag on you. So sometimes you have to be willing to do this and you can see that with these two ads here, or, you know, not ads rather, but just posts that I made on my personal Facebook page, 
or personal Facebook profile, there's no call to action, right? It's like, I mean, I guess in this case, it's tag a mate that needs some. But, you know, like with this ad here, I got a guy that reached out to me or when I made this post and he's like, hey, you know, I've seen a couple posts from you like this. Can you get me mortgage leads in Alabama? And I'm like, yeah, sure, you know. So that's the kind of thing that will happen is if you're generating home buyer leads as a loan officer, sometimes if you have good results in a weekend or whatever, you should talk about that, right? My weekend experiment with a realtor here in Kansas City ended with 17 home buyer leads for this property and it only costs us a dollar four per lead, right? Shoot me a message if you want some results like this too, right? Or whatever. So you can easily just take kind of what I'm doing as a base and just change the wording just a tiny bit so that it's more applicable for you to go out and brag in front of realtors, right? So you can just talk about that. Hey, my weekend experiment with a, with a realtor here in Kansas City ended with 17 home buyer leads for this property, you know, or for this new listing at only a dollar four per lead, right? Tag a realtor in the comments who would like some leads like this too, right? We have to be willing to brag on yourself sometimes. And I don't think this is something you should do like every day, but it's something that you should at least do every week, you know? It's the same thing of taking the photos at closing with your clients and dem you're demonstrating that you're working with people. You're demonstrating that you're providing value, right? And it's the same thing with this where, in this case, we wanna demonstrate to whatever realtors you're connected with on Facebook, that you have the ability to generate home buyer leads and that they should wanna reach out to you because of that. And so what happens is you write, make a post like this and they'll come in your inbox and they'll say like, hey Nick, you know, how did you do that? Can you tell me more about that? Can we meet up and talk about this? Or can you send me some leads? And now you have the upper hand, right? You can kind of pre-qualify them inside of a Facebook chat. If it feels like somebody that you wanna to get to know more, then you can invite them for a site visit, right? Invite them to your office for a one-on-one -on -one meeting or go and sit down with them for that coffee meeting, right? But at least they've already, they're coming into the meeting with this perception that you're the one providing value versus the realtor having the value and you just wanna get their, their business, right? It's like kind of a, it's a reversal of the conversation. So here's a quick lead, how, how are we doing on time? 1026, that's amazing, right? That's really great time. Okay, so here's a quick recap of what we just chatted about, okay? Number one, you wanna have leads to pass out, okay? Those leads can come from a few different places. Those leads can come from your database because you should be sending out weekly emails to your database or you should be using video on Facebook to stay in front of your database. Those leads can also come from Facebook ads, right? You can spend as little as $5 or maybe up to $15 or $20 a day and generate awesome home buyer or seller or refinance leads using Facebook ads. Um, and then the third way is through your other marketing efforts. So whatever else you're doing, right? Your personal Facebook, your YouTube channel, Instagram, all these things, you know, you should have leads to pass out. You don't only want to be going with your hand out to realtors constantly. You want to be coming with handfuls of leads, right? So like if you spend $15 a day, you can easily have three, five, seven leads a day coming in that every single day you could have a handful of leads to pass out to realtors, right? Literally every day you could give out five leads and know that you're going to have five more tomorrow. It's an awesome thing. Okay. Number two, teach marketing classes. So once you've done that number one and you've got some leads, just teach a class how you did that, right? Just like literally tell them, I'm going to open my ads manager. I'm going to show you the ad. I'm going to show you the targeting. I'm going to show you the landing page. I'm going to show you my follow-up, exactly what I did. And here's why you don't have to worry about doing that is nobody will implement it, right? You can teach the marketing class of 15 people and like probably only one or two of them are going to actually implement it on their own. So you never have to worry about your ideas going out there and saturating the marketplace because most realtors, they just want to come to a class and learn something and feel great and then leave and then come to another class next week or next month, right? And they just get that dopamine rush and they just come back for the, the learning. They're just excited to be, you know, hang out with other realtors and learn cool things. They don't actually want to do that in most cases. So you never have to worry about teaching and, oh, this idea is going to get saturated because most people just won't do it, right? So you don't have to worry about that. But teaching marketing classes is awesome to establish value, 
get in front of people for an hour, establish some authority, let them know that you have value to bring to their, to their business and that you want to be a partner with them and then set them up for a follow-up system. So you can have a system in place where you're going to follow up with them, invite them to your office for a meeting, have a system where, you know, you have a 60 minute uh, meeting with them and you start building that relationship and start to get to know them and, um, figuring out how you can help them grow their business. And then lastly, you want to be your own paparazzi. Okay. We don't have cameras following us around because we're not celebrities on that level. So sometimes you have to do it yourself, right? That's why people take so many selfies. That's why people show off what they're doing. We have to be our own paparazzi. And in your case, that should involve, you know, demonstrating what you're doing in your business, demonstrating your lead generation abilities, demonstrating how you bring value to realtors, right? You can do these things through simple Facebook posts, just kind of showing off occasionally of like letting people know, hey, I got these 10 leads or these 20 leads or, you know, and I just use the little, the call to action, hey, tag a realtor in the comments or send me a PM if this would benefit you, you know, and just get them to um, come to you and want to talk to you about it. And then that way you, you have the upper hand a little bit when you're going to sit down at a meeting. Right? It's not like you're coming there saying like, how can I get your loans? But you're coming there saying, hey, how can I help you grow your business? And then all those additional, all that additional business you get, you send my way. Right? And then eventually you can replace the number one loan officer, whoever they, they're using, because that person probably is not doing, putting in that same amount of effort. Right? So sometimes you have to kind of be like the third wheel and weasel your way in there. And the best way to do that is to have more value than whoever they're working with right now. Okay. So those are my three ideas right there um, of exactly how to go out and get more realtor one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, like I don't have any sales pitch here. I mean, obviously I have the Legion of Loan Officers. If that interests you, check us out, legionofloanofficers.com. I'll show you how to go out and get an additional 10 realtor partners sending you the majority of their business, plus how to get exclusive mortgage leads on your own using really cheap Facebook ads for anywhere from $1 to $10 per lead. Okay. So that's my two main objectives inside of my private group is have you get away from paying all these agencies for $30 a lead, Zillow, $30 a lead, get your own leads, right? First time home buyer leads, we're getting like $1.50. VA long form leads we're getting for $8, right? So we have a bunch of different lead types. We'll show you exactly how to do that give you the landing pages, everything you need in order to set that system up and be successful. And then also how to take what you're doing there and how to host events and get in front of realtors exactly when and where to do it, how to get at least 15 realtors at your event every single time and how to turn that event and those face-to-face -face meetings into one-on-one -on -one appointments and into realtor relationships. So if that kind of stuff interests you, check us out, legionofloanofficers.com. And if we're not already connected on Facebook, hook up with me there. My Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash Nil and Nick. Uh, and it's like my old rap name back in the day. And that's the photo that I'm using on Facebook right now. So that way it'll be easy for you to find me. And uh, like I said, I will send out this slideshow uh, here in a little bit. So for everybody that's on this call, you will get the slideshow. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, like I said, I wanted to try to keep it to like 30 minutes. Did really good. It's 1033 my time. So I'm feeling good about that. And uh, hopefully you guys found value. If you did, I don't know how you found out about this class, but I would love for you to post on Facebook, let people know you found value. Um, or, uh, you know, hey, join the Legion of Loan Officers and I want to help you blow up your business um, and implement these things and, and get the results that you really want from your business. All right. So I hope you have an awesome Friday. Thanks again for spending your time here with me and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.